It's a bit of a cliche, but photography is um, a sort of an excuse to be nosy. It is a passport into other people's lives and in, into many interesting situations. I'm not someone who believes that it's just about the photograph and there shouldn't need to be anything else. I, but I think that we can we can enhance the work with you know many different things. You have to recognise luck or chances or pictures. Or, you, know, you can never really look for it. You know, it's, uh, it just has to happen along the way. I love the fact that this process is so good at illustrating their skill at taking photographs just by creating this framework. So the project is um, very much a live project, live lab. Um, we've got the three photographers who are working independently as well as collaborating on the themes, the subject areas each of them have focused on. For me, I really wanted it to stay quite central to Clark and Wells, such an interesting, really less covered area than many other areas in London, photographically speaking. We wanted a diversity of approaches, so we had Mark Power who worked large format, um, so obviously he sort of set the stage um, for, for the other work. Then Carl de Kaiser, who probably was the most photojournalistic in his approach, doing all the street photography, found activity on the street. And then Olivia Arthur, who is known for her more intimate portraiture. The work that I'm going to make here um, in Clerkenwell is um, going to be about migration. I, I think it's really not a story about refugees, it's really about opportunities and people having like come to make something work out. What I decided to do was rather than read history books, I'd actually read as much literature as I can about this area. If you can try and imagine what that's like when you've got one picture in your head and the reality is something quite different, where those two things clash, I think there's, there's, there's some potential for interesting, interesting pictures. I will probably see different things than Olivia or, or Mark, because they live here, they're British, and I, I see things that are typically British or, or that maybe I'm critical about or I, I find odd or strange or whatever, things that they wouldn't see. You know, you walk down a quiet street where there's just nothing happening, you're really searching for things, you're searching for relationships from one thing to another, you're searching for little tricks of light, all those kind of things, and the way that the people interact with the space. And, in, and I think the other two really didn't know the area that much, so they could kind of just explore the streets, and I think I would have found that harder because I kind of, this is sort of just around the corner from home for me. I'm not fascinated by the streets here because perhaps they're too familiar to me, so kind of going a little bit further than that was interesting. I'm shooting on film and, and then of course because of the turnaround and having to put pictures up all the time I need to process that film so that's going to actually be part of what I'm doing here. I think it's a really wonderful way to make portraits. I, I mean I often say I think it's a very honest way to make portraits. You kind of have an understanding with your subject and your subject has an understanding of the kind of picture that, that, that you're making of them and so it becomes in a way more collaborative. It's a, it's a large camera on a tripod, you get under a dark cloth so it's very 19th century in the way that you work. You know, what I liked about using large format film was the fact that it made you really concentrate because you couldn't afford to waste the film. And um, although now, of course, with digital, I can fire away to my heart's content, I haven't lost sight of that because I think it's actually a very good way of working to be, you know, quite spare. I prefer to print big because I, I work with high resolution cameras, 55 million pixels, so uh, I think that Every detail, every small part of the image is as important as, as the whole, so, so I want all the details to be seen. They're all very much Carl, Olivia and Mark's views on things. I think they were all quite surprised by what they found, in fact. I spent a bit of time in the Italian social centre, which is, a, you know, because this has been the centre of the Italian community for such a long time. And so there's not the kind of looseness that's in the other work, perhaps, this kind of like feeling of roaming, of, just, of exploring. I tend to 
take situations that are slightly surreal or slightly odd or I look for juxtapositions, you know, things that that surprised me. I'm playing with the, you know, the conventions of documentary photography. I'm playing with this idea that documentary is real in some way, the, the veracity of it all. It's a lot about spending time, you know, even if it's a short amount of time with people, I, you know, go into their world, try and understand their world relatively, in a relatively short space of time and try and make a picture of them that kind of represents that. The work for me really comes alive when you, you're putting images together and they're bouncing off each other and they're informing each other, you know, somehow fighting against each other as well, as long as they're not cancelling each other out. I think what they've managed to do and the way they've installed the work in the end gives you a really interesting mix of approaches and mix of subjects in terms of um, the, the sort of representation of the area. And it's not about having 30 amazing pictures on the wall that are all, you know, full of life and activity and really extraordinary images. It's not about that because often there has to be very quiet pictures in there that sort of act like the glue that holds the rest of it together. The point about the Live Lab is that it's about providing this framework for them to explore within and to bounce off each other. Each sort of different type of work is starting to talk to another finding little connections between them and um, the way they're juxtaposed is really nice to see. Having been here for 13 years at Magnum and seeing how each project can kind of feed into their next body of work. So the ideas and things that come from, from each new uh, commission that they get involved in do tend to kind of, you know, stick in some ways. But I think also, you know, it's about them all working together. They all know each other, but they don't get to spend this kind of period of time together. Usually they're mostly off doing their own things. We are totally different. You know, photography is a very individual art. And uh, although we maybe have similar backgrounds, with the same agency, you work in the documentary field, you still have a totally different view on the world. Thank you.